it's time to go on a trip where I just kind of pray that I don't die in the process. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Look at all that health I've got. Look at all that health I've got. That and frankly, based on the playstyle I've been employing so far, uh, you kind of get a you kind of get away with uh, having less health during combat a little bit, just because if you quick save before the fight and then go slashy slashy and things don't work out, then you just rewind to the beginning of the fight. Which it almost feels like a playstyle that's bordering on inevitable just due to how abruptly you die in this game. I feel like a lot of people would end up kind of doing that. Just like setting themselves up as somebody that's going to be quick saving and quick loading. Not because they're save scumming to change a, a decision, but because combat is so lethal. Could you imagine playing a game of th like this game if, uh, if every time you died you had to start the entire day over? And that was the only time you could save was the beginning of the entire day. That would be a significantly less defe uh, defeated game. <laughs> it's like way fewer people would ever beat it. That'd be brutal. It'd be hardcore mode. Like, it'd definitely be like, holy crap, you're dedicated to making it through this plague. And then some lunatic would, of course, be the guy who tries to beat the entire game without ever getting hit. Or ever, ever dying. I just think of the fact that, like, uh... When I used to look at achievements more, I remember Mega Man, like, 9 and 10, I think, came out. The ones that were, like, a callback to the OG Mega Man series. But they were- it came out, like, this decade. But had the same 8-bit style and everything. And, uh... They had achievements in at least one of them for... One, one of the achievements was for beating the game without ever dying. Which I'm already, like, uh, fuck off. And one of the achievements was for beating the game without ever getting hit. And I just kind of stare at that mouth agape and confused. I'm like, they're joking, right? But I'm also not great at Mega Man. But I'm not- uh, but there's like almost no games I could see myself beating that way. Didn't take too long to get here. Alright, I gotta remember. It's- sh it's already six o'clock. Gotta keep moving. I'm bothered by how late it is, but I, I, I had to sleep. It was trouble. Don't want to go, like, passing out or anything in the middle of, like, danger times. Are you still here, Aspidy? That's creepy. Is it really that deadly? Yes, it is. Please touch me. Do I have a fever? Do you know anything about how the disease is transmitted? I know everything. Everything in the world. The infection goes straight to the head. It talks to you a bit with its little inner voice, then it moves in completely. For a while, the tenant is rather troublesome, and the body makes for a lousy lodging. It breaks apart all too easily, and so the disease leaves it and moves along to find someone else. Poetry aside, sounds plausible. Who said anything about poetry? You're missing the point. It doesn't touch the next person as long as it's comfortable in the current one. Who told you that? Internal relations, Bachelor. You wouldn't understand. I can visualize this crazy gallop. If you manage to distract it, make it shift its attention to others, you'll live. When the sand pest starts talking to you, pretend to be someone else, and you'll trick it. I'll keep this in mind? What? what? Lie to the Z's about your own identity? What in the world? Is that... Is, is that gonna turn out to be like a power the changeling has? How about I don't touch you? You do. I can feel it from here. Oh. What's wrong with my eyes? It's covered with wait, wait a minute. Is that leather? What what is a weird response is a little the bit? Disease really contagious. What is the it? Yes, it His whole is, body? Undoubtedly. You're concealing runaway butchers in this very house, Aspidy. Well, crucify me. What's this about? Running more errands for the Olgimskis? 
No, this time I've come of my own accord. I need your help. Well, I gotta hear that. Why on earth would the wise serpent seek anyone's help? I need... I need the tissue of a sand plague victim. You can only find dead victims in the infected houses. Since you appear to be alive, you have never entered a single one of them. You will have five to ten minutes if you do. Then the infection strikes with the expected results. Perhaps you could find a single runaway that would help agree to help. What would you want in return? Perhaps I could find a lot of runaways that would agree to help, if only I asked them to. And the, sa and the same me will ask you for a favor then. Will you do me one? I will. Go ahead and speak. You're influential with the old Gimski. Use that influence. Tell him to stop persecuting the runaways. It's no longer a revenue situation, but he's uh, still all too eager. Takes the guy quite some time to calm down, huh? Anyway, if he swears to leave alone the butchers that are now outside the termitary, I'll talk three, three runaways into risking their lives. It's not like they will have anything to lose anyway. Let's see. Just ask him to calm down? Oh yeah, to ask him to leave the butchers alone. Okay. I'll try. So now back to the old- back to old Gimski. What's that say? Aspity is willing to sacrifice three butchers provided that Boos Old Gimski grants pardon to the rest of them. What the hell? Boos? That seems... is it supposed to be Bossel... is it supposed to be Bossel Gimski or is it supposed to be his name? People have mentioned before that they've had weird cases in this game of them just like outright not bothering to translate some words and they're just in the original language and it's like just a weird... just weird examples. That might have been one of them where like they just kind of left it in the original language and I'm just left to be like, excuse me? You... you what did you say to me? I still gotta go this way. There's something oddly appealing about seeing distant buildings in silhouette form like that. It's specific to those buildings, I think, too. I don't think regular buildings uh, show up in such a manner. I think it's specifically landmark buildings. Like those pipes there, or the polyhedron, you can see their silhouettes at much greater distances than you can see the rest of the house, whereas the other buildings seem to have way less pronounced silhouetting. Like I look at the, I look down that street, and I know there's I know there's houses in that direction, but I can't see their silhouettes from here. But you can see those uh, those kinds of landmarks from a much greater distance. That seems like a very deliberate uh, design choice. Making a point to make certain things significantly more easy to find because they are the unique buildings with specific silhouettes that stand out like crazy. I need to find out about these drugs these kids are supposed to have. What's in your pockets, pumpkin? More... just more lockpicks. I'm arrived. Not the longest walks, thankfully. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble with the amount of day I have left. You're the wrong one. I haven't talked to you yet today, though, so why not? Father has been avoiding me lately. Strange. Would, would you like me to reveal the secret of a miraculous remedy for the sand plague? It's dangerous, mind you. I'm all ears, Victoria. Have you ever seen antique boxes with chalky or bluish powder inside? It is already fossilized in some of them. Have you already heard of the powders dubbed schmouders sometimes? I haven't. The powders are secret remedies that some people have been keeping since the first outbreak. 
before it all started. One boy, his name was Crowfoot, he died later, inspired the children to play Epidemic. They were making these powders. Wait a minute, are you saying they used to play Epidemic even before the first outbreak? Indeed. Whoa, I never thought about it like that. What a strange coincidence. Still, that's not important. It might be very important, I don't know. We won't be able to learn anything from them anyway. The inventors of the game are now in heavens. That is not what I wanted to speak with you about. Then speak, Victoria, I'm listening. Some children stole various drugs for their game. They chose the prettiest ones, of course. Then they crushed the pills in a mortar, mixed them, and wrapped the mixtures in a f into the fresh leaves of fragrant steps fuervi for ca safekeeping. Are you implying this, uh, mismash can help with the sand plague? Not always. Every child has a personal secret recipe. No one knows which particular drugs were used. Each mixture was different. The most efficient ones were made by Beaker, Flanky, and Catchfly. Crowfoot's powders were also respected, because they were the prettiest. Where are these powders now? All over the place. Some are stored in caches in the houses where the children used to play infirmary. The powders were lethally dangerous, you see. If anyone was to take that much drugs, it would damage their health horribly. But the children begged to differ, like they always do. They helped once, so what if they do so again, is the line of reasoning. And what do you think? Some of them undoubtedly help. They poison the body, true, but they also poison the sand dirt out. I have no idea how it works. Perhaps there are antibiotics in the mixture. Others are indeed lethal, and every single one of them is extremely detrimental to your health. I have no doubts about that. The thing is, the kids were recently reminded of one of the caches. They've pried it open, and now they cannot wait to test the acquired powders in an infected district. Loafer, Beaker's younger brother, has already gone to do the testing, the fool. Where exactly? To the Silent House, I believe. That is where the infa infection began to spread from in the first place. And besides, it's connected to this terrible man-eater story. Children are always attracted to horror stories. All in all, I think you can stop them. If you ban the game, they'll listen to you. You are a celebrity doctor, after all. So they have a whole cache of these powders stocked there, then? They have probably only taken a few, but they know the places, so they will continue getting more, and getting poisoned again and again. It's a lottery. No one can remember which powder is which, what the recipe was. It's a be cured or die situation. Well, alright. We'll drag Loafer out of this, and perhaps I'll find use for the powders, too. Oh my god, I'm getting a quest now? It's really late. Uh, Capella requests that you find a little boy who ran off into the infected district. No, this is exactly where I don't want to go. Take the schmouter from him. Somewhere near the silent house. Shit. Yeah, the silent house is right there, isn't it? It's not showing up as listed anymore. Sticky's house. Wasn't that the silent house? I think it stopped being highlighted, so it's probably around there, right? But I'm here to talk to the other Olgemski. Shit. Alright, lots to take- lots to deal with. Lots to deal with. Hey, angry face. What's up? Don't- ignore my plague symptoms. That aren't, aren't great. Honestly, I want to find a schmouter. <laughs> it might be helpful. I can't breathe. Definitely sounds like the kind of thing you quick save before eating, though. <laughs> the Skinners, yes. That was one nasty day, wouldn't you agree? I'd like to offer you a bargain. It has to do with your fugitives. Oh, come now. To my mind, there's nothing to discuss here. However, a good bargain always catches my attention, so...
Could you donate your runaways to me? I guarantee, guarantee they'll die in the end. Hmm. Aren't you a humanitarian, my dear doctor? The thing is, I don't need them to die. I need them to return to the bosom of the Bull Project. Punished, but unscathed. You must have already noticed that anyone's chance of es to escape the epidemic unscathed are rather low. I can increase theirs. What's in it for you? I have my own job to do and I need these people. As for now, sadly, I cannot disclose to you as to why. And what would you be willing to offer? I'm ready to hear your offer. Let me see. I know what I'm going to ask as a payment for the, my butchers. It's a unique resource you own. The one I'll never get my hands on. What is it? Your influence with the canes. I'll cease to pursue the butchers if Georgie ceases to pursue young Burak. He isn't guilty. He has an airtight alibi against all charges, which I am willing to confirm. Let them leave him alone. Agree? If you're vouching for him, I'll inform the canes as soon as I have a chance. Indeed, indeed. I'd rather not. I'd rather you convinced Reuben that young Burak has nothing to do with it. With Isidore's tragic death, the thick-headed Reuben is the last one who needs convincing anyway. The boy must be labeled. A, the boy might be labeled a patricide, if he hadn't had enough. You do see Reuben from time to time. I know that. I'd rather you avoid telling me around that I know where Reuben is. I haven't finished yet. Apart from that, I wish they stopped torturing me about the termitary. I'm tired of repeating that it's clean. That is why it was closed in the first place. You know what? You've just suggested an excellent idea to me. How about this? You stop the persecution, and I'll kindly spare the Canes my opinion on what's inside the Termitary. For goodness sake. If you put it like this, yes, certainly, certainly I was going to as well. It's no matter now. Now that the Skinners is infected, just like that crude sprawl before it, you have my word as a merchant. The thing is, I know you as a man of honor. Damn it. I'm glad we have an agreement, Boas Vlad. The word of a merchant provides a reliable assurance. Did I just talk my way out of doing that entire quest? Because that's fantastic news. He's going to send me on so many fucking trips and I have no time left today. Oh, Gimsky has become strangely pliable. Apparently he's most troubled by the termitary. It has become a kind of Achilles heel to him. It is interesting to note that he asked me to solicit for young Brooke as he stands accused before the Canes. Could it be that something is wrong here? Hmm. They, they have no great regard for human life, it seems. Three lives were given in exchange for Ogimsky's promise to cease the persecution of runaway tra tra tradesmen. Huh. There's a lot going on in this quest. There's a lot to, like, sort through. In addition to the fact that I need to... Still need to finish this quest, so I should probably talk to Georgie anyway, since I'm closer now. And Capella wants me to go to the Silent House, and it's... It's already almost seven. Ugh. Is it smart to loop around like this? That's where the butchers are. So talk to the butchers here. Because I think I've succeeded that. I could loop around from there to there. And try dealing with the Silent House situation, which is not great news for me. Oh. Blurg. How we're going to process this. Let's see. Go, go, go. Hey, little boy. How you doing? Don't stay away from the sick guy over there. Also me, who's also sick. Just normal bolt. Just the shotgun shells again. Alright, just gotta get back as fast as possible. Time passes so fast in this game. 
first days felt more spaced out. Really what's happening is I'm feeling the consequence of sleeping during the day. But that exhaustion meter... I think... Given the survival context of everything, I, I also I keep checking the same chests. That's like they're gonna, like gonna change that quickly. Uh, it seems likely to me that given the survival context of the game, I probably have to use things that uh, that offset exhaustion instead of sleeping, at least some of the time, because sleeping is not the most efficient way of pushing back exhaustion. Like even sleeping through the night does not reset it back to zero. You don't even get that much luck. Which is brutal. And knowing that you don't even go back to zero is a real pressure to think that there must be some other mechanic. Can I jump over this? Yeah. Gotta check the map as often as possible, too, just to plan very good paths. So every time I take a, a detour or I go the wrong way and have to go back, that's more time added to the, to the travel time. Is it really that deadly? Yes, it is. Big Vlad agrees. He swore that from this point on, not a single runaway in the town would be killed on his orders. Proof. It's already done. The orders have been issued for Sabarov's patrolmen and Olgimsky's men, sealed and delivered. Fine, then. I'll send three butchers to the infected Skinners. They'll be waiting for you there. If you manage to find a dead body... Cut it, and survive to see to see you, that is. Follow them in an hour. They may die before you reach them, so waste no time. I need to reread that. What was that? They'll be waiting for you there. If, you man if they manage to find a dead body, cut it and survive to see you. Oh, they... Right, cut it's not a command for me, that's if, if, that's if they manage those three things. They manage to find a body, they manage to cut it, they manage to survive to see me. Okay, follow them in an hour, they may die before you reach them, so waste no time. So they're gonna be at the Infected Skinners. So I go to the Infected Skinners, the butchers will show, will give me a sample apparently, and I have to be there in an hour, if I am not there on time they might die. It would make sense for me to go with them straight away then, wouldn't it? Only the Shabnak cut the dead open. And does it even matter whose hands hold the knife whose hand holds the knife? What matters is who's given out the order. Or do you think people won't realize who's violating the dead if you simply keep quiet and stand to the side? Sounds convincing. I strongly advise you to conduct reconnaissance before you go to the infected district. Prepare for the field trip well. Rumor has it the place leaves you less chances than a mincing machine would. The patrolmen guarding the infected houses have already consumed half the confiscated drugs. Thank you, Espy. Alright, so go there in one hour. It's So go there at 20. It's already going to be 8 o'clock at that point. God damn. Alright. That's not good sign. Okay. Uh, and it's right there too, so I don't really have a lot to do in that time. I wonder if it's best to sleep for an hour? This might be a good time to make a new save, actually, that's more permanent than the quick saves, because the game only keeps two of those. Let's see. I'm supposed to go there for two reasons. So I think I'm gonna go there right now anyway. Uh, what's my money like? I like no money. I was thinking about buying clothes, but I can't really afford clothes. If I find drunk people, I can trade for some bandages and whatnot with them. And that can let me heal to offset me 
using stuff to increase my immunity because I'm going in there. Uh, that reduced the infection. That's the immunity booster at the cost of health. There's my health going up. Hi. Uh, I don't need your help as much. There's a drunk guy. Oh, wow. There's like a crowd of people around here. Hi. Yes, I would like to bar... Come on, man. That guy's not useful. That guy's not useful. That guy's not useful. Hey, drugs. You ever... You, you ever had drugs? You just have lockpicks. Ah. There's so many people, but they're all like all the wrong ones. Lots of repeating, like, clothing repairmen and stuff like that. Whoa! Oh, I'm already here. Okay, I was like, what am I looking at? Uh... Are those supposed to be the butchers or are those runaway plague victims? I'm sorry, do you guys punch plague victims? Is that your model? Is that of success here? Am I getting... Does my infection go up when I interact with their bodies, I wonder? My immunity seems okay at the moment. My exhaustion's up again? Shit. I'll at least make it for a bit, though. I'm a little spooked about going in here. Hi, everybody. Were they, they were punching them for running out of the area, right? Silent House is over here on the left. Ugh. Whoa. What the f What the fuck? This comes charging at you in like a line? Wait, I can't go in there anymore? That's the silent house, right? I recognize that on the map. Yeah, that was the spot. Shit. Alright, well somewhere around here might be that one kid. What was the name what was the kid's name again? It doesn't actually say here. There's supposed to be a kid around here though, a little boy. I don't think I should re be refilling water around here. Oh no, is that a kid? Oh no. Wait, is that the butcher? Is he dead? Don't worry, sir. The evil dealers are dead. Up upon Ogimsky's orders? Armed resistance. They must have thought the fat Vlad had sent us. But there's something fishy about this here business. Why? I guess worse. That beast carved him up and wrapped him up, prepare him for something. Been waiting for the Ripper. He's still at large. Is him that it, that's killed old Burke. Ain't gone nowhere. Ain't fooling anyone. It was for him the butcher did it. No question about it. What in the world makes you think so? He was waiting for him, so he was. Anyway, it's all pointing towards it. Good thing we were all there to dissuade him. But in a different neighborhood, another butcher like that slipped away. I've got the- th I've just got the report. How I'd love to give the beast a good thrashing. I'm... Im... Uh, good- Oh, Im and everyone who's- any- uh, Im and whoever's paying him. Shame I can't leave my post. And what happened to the body? The body was given to the family, they'll bury it. Sounds like the right thing to do. I can't tell if we're talking about the butcher, the butchers I sent in or not. Look, what is that? I'm, I'm going this way. No, like. Oh, this is a weird trip. Okay. 
Where's this child? It's already the time for me to meet up with them. What was the exact text of where I'm meeting them? The Skinner's District is contaminated. I hope that one of the three butchers that asked to be dispatched there is able to return with a suitable specimen. There's no time to procrastinate. The Skinner's District. This is the Skinner's District, isn't it? I'm not sure how to tell. But like, this is clearly the infest- the infected part of the map, right? Because isn't the abattoir- isn't this the... I think that's it, right? Isn't this supposed to be about a, the tannery? Or... I think this was the tanning place, right? Sticky's house. Unless they're referring to another infected place. This is, uh, not easy to figure out here. Are these places still running? Wait, what? You're just, like, casually hanging out like nothing's happening? Selling kerosene? <laughs> A little bit of... Little bit, little bit of fuel for the end of the world.